Well, she's had 26 songs reach number one on the country billboard charts. She's won 11 Grammys and she is now officially a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now, Dolly Parton is going to be back on TV tomorrow night right here on NBC for a special called Dolly Parton's Mountain Magic Christmas, which has a slew of guest stars as well from Jimmy Fallon to Willie Nelson. I had the chance to talk with Dolly yesterday about that and other projects she has in the works. Dolly Parton, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. And we're talking about your Magic Mountain Christmas special. You have a ton of guest stars. What can fans expect from the show? Well, you can expect to have a lot of fun. You're going to be well entertained because we, as you said, have some of the greatest people like Willie Nelson, Molly Cyrus, Jimmy Allen, Jimmy Fallon, Billy Ray Cyrus, and Zach Williams. That's the lineup of our singing guests. And then, of course, we have many great actors like Tom Everett Scott, Anna Gastar, and my little nephew, Liam, who's playing the elf, and Angel Parker, and girl playing my best friend, Judy, is Rhoda Griffiths. So uh, we're excited about all the, sh the people that are on doing all the great work that they're doing. It's a show within a show, as you've heard, where we kind of show what it's like to put a show together with all the things that might go wrong and will go wrong and just trying to pull it all together to get it done on time. Yeah, and a lot of singing too. Uh, your voice sounds amazing in the special. Now, we are also talking about the holiday event you have planned with your goddaughter, Miley Cyrus. Uh, you guys are hosting New Year's Eve together. Tell us a little bit about what we can look forward to with that. Well, we Molly was on my show, as I mentioned, and we had time to kind of visit. And I knew she was doing that New Year's Eve show. And she said, you're going to have to do that with me sometime. I said, well, how about this time, since we've kind of got all this good energy going together. And so she said, that would be great. So then she went back and told NBC that we were going to do it together. And so I'm looking forward to that. We're, that's out of Miami. And we're going to be probably wearing about 10 different outfits, doing little skits, doing some hosting, doing some singing. And Lord only knows how we're going to look, what we're going to do. But it's going to be fun. You know, Molly, she's going to spice it up and I can't let her get ahead of me. So I'm <laughs> going to be trying be right on her coattail, trying to live up to her. <laughs> No, and I, I will say that was a lovely moment with you and Miley in the in the special as well. You have done a lot about Christmas all all throughout your career. Um, what do you love so much about this time of year? Well, I really just love Christmas for what it stands for. Of course, being from Christian uh, base, you know, we always celebrated, you know, Christ, the Christmas. And even if whether or not you're, you're, that is your faith, everybody loves all the great Christmas songs. And all my Jewish friends, all my people, the other religions, they still love those songs singing along with all that. So we did a lot of the favorite Christmas songs. But for me, I just love the, the joy of it, the family, the giving, the respect receiving the colors, the food, the music, everything about Christmas I love. And so being able to do something from home, from Dollywood in my Smoky Mountain, uh, Mountain Magic Christmas and having all my special guests come there for me to host them at Dollywood. We love the park and we got to let Dollywood star a little bit because of all their talent, the dancers, the singers, and just the place itself it was a magnificent place to put a show together. Yeah, it really looked very magical. And you were recently recognized by being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. What did that occasion mean to you? <laughs> well, I was surprised, as you remember, back when I heard that I was going to be inducted, I wasn't sure, not knowing all I I came to know about it, that it was also for people that had influenced other people, you know, in, in other fields of music and other things. But at the time, I just always thought the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame would be for people that had worked as hard as I have in country music to get into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame if that was their music. So when they convinced me that I had earned it, I said, well, if they put me in, I will certainly uh, accept it gracefully and be humbled by it. So they put me in anyway. So certainly I went, even wrote a song about it for it, just to kind of a little tongue in cheek kind of thing. And so uh, it was a great honor, really. And I'm going to be doing a rock album because of it, because I'm not going to let that go to waste. I thought I'd often thought about doing a rock album because my husband loves rock and roll music best. And so timing was everything. So it's come out next fall. I'm going to have a rock and roll album. Oh, that's very cool. Rockstar. <laughs> Rockstar. I like that. 
Uh, giving back is another huge part of this time of year and something that's very important to you. Your philanthropic work is well known and was recently recognized by Jeff Bezos who gave you $100 million to distribute. What are your plans for that? Are we going to see a lot more books? Well, it's certainly generous of Jeff Bezos and uh, to offer that to me because he said he had seen what I'd been doing over the years and he knew that I would spend it wisely and he's right. I will definitely spend every dime of that for some wonderful cause to help some needy causes, people to help uplift people and do the right things and always let my heart lead me into what they're going to be. And I haven't started spending it yet because I'm studying on where and how and what all I do want to do with it. But you can bet that I'll be doing good things for good people with that money and thank him for that. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Well, thank you. Be sure and watch the show December 1st, eight o'clock. Eastern Time, NBC.